Hello everyone, today I've decided to use a script and add a little production value to my videos. I'm playing X4 Foundations, which I recently acquired, and I'm enjoying the new game and decided to record my endeavors. The game's been updated to version 3.0, and apparently the bugs are gone and the game is now good, or so the Steam reviews say. I think I finally now have a mostly good open source pipeline for video editing too, and this game is Linux native. Plus I figured out some things in OBS and I think I might have solved the banding issue. Learning these things in Linux just takes time. I tried to play the first mission and show you all what it was like for me at the start of the game, but I had a whole host of problems configuring my joystick to play the game. Now I feel good to hang on it. The new combat mechanics in X4 over previous titles is great. I played a lot of X3 Reunion and Albion Prelude, and this game is a big step up in the combat department. You have boosting that actually boosts, you can turn flight assist off, allowing you to skid and do some real pro Johnny Thunder ace combat moves, like sliding and dashing when in travel mode. I'm kind of wondering about travel mode. I played this game called Tacky on the Fringe, an old favorite of mine, and the game had sliding in it, something I missed in X3, but has now been introduced in X4. I learned that if you boosted and then held the slide button, you could keep the speed you got from the boost. It was pretty major exploit and I learned you can exploit travel mode in the same way. I'm kind of glad I waited for version 3.0 because I'm definitely not focusing on any bugs. And the way the game is set up now, it's obviously looking for more of a multiplayer vibe. I'm a fan so far. Here we can see, um, <clears throat> I was trying to, uh, or this was where I was repairing a satellite, so, um, one of the things I always liked about this game is you could get out and go into your spacesuit, and now it's, like, way better than it was in X3, since you can, you know, go on stations, board ships, and you still have the repair laser, so... This was very game-breaking in, uh, I think it was Terran Conflict it was first introduced. <laughs> As you see, I just used my little hand repair laser to repair the satellite. Delete Vanguard. Then, just trying to figure out how you get back in. I thought you would just, just go automatically, but apparently you just have to hit like uh, shift D to dock with the uh, I thought that was like oh maybe I'll go in there so then I realized oh that's what you do okay I get it now you're back in your ship and it's all pretty cool pretty uh, pretty nifty <clears throat> And so that was like a little bit of money there. So these are the like the basic things I was I've been doing in the early game. Well, I decided to cheat, at least just to check out these mods. Because I found out that there's only I stood I decided to go on research and I found out that there is um there is surprisingly few ships. I mean that's not act well I should say that's not surprising. Most X games don't have that many ships. And <clears throat> it's not so much that there's a lack of ships, but I looked at the like main two ships they still have they have a ship called the colossus that doesn't look anything like the colossus and then they have a, a care a destroyer called the like alashir or i can't remember what's called and i realized i didn't like the look of them so uh, i looked online and i found that there's a ship mod that gets all the x3 reunion ships from X3 Reunion and brings them over. Or no, it's not X3 Reunion. Uh, sorry, it's um, X. 
what the hell did the X Rebirth? <laughs> right. The the not an X game. Um, it's actually kind of funny because now that I'm playing X4, I kind of am like, oh, I could probably tolerate playing X Rebirth now. Because, I mean, it's a different game. But, um, yeah, this is the... I decided to, like, just start a game and... I accidentally got a bunch of like achievements I didn't want to get. I kind of wish that Steam had a way to like disable achievements, because <laughs> like I got the ach like two achievements for cheating, and I'm like, ah oh, man, and they're the big ones too. It's like have a billion dollars in your account, and um, what's the other one? Oh, get a hundred percent with a faction, because I thought I needed a hundred percent to get the licenses. But then I found out I can just cheat and get the licenses, so. At the Argon shipyard, they built this thing, the Trananus Linebreaker. There's another mod I should install, which I didn't install, which makes the uh, X Rebirth ship's textures look better. So these textures aren't going to look all that great, but... Eh. I'm not a huge... I don't really know if I care enough. Like, generally whenever I play X, I always play with some kind of mods, though. And, um, it's just extremely boring not to, I guess. And, um, the only, the only issue I've noticed so far I didn't like was the lack of ships. So, I think I'm probably just gonna play with this one mod. But I wanna test out this one ship because essentially there's a mod of this ship out there that's um, like really good. It's like one of the best mods out there. And it's got, or it's got like three battleships. But this is, the mod I got has a lot more than just three. It has like all of the ships from X Rebirth. And this is just one of them. How much? Battleship. Battleship. So, this thing. 2,560. So, I was looking at the numbers because the Battleship mod has like a balance and a non balanced version. But this is a bit more than the balanced version. So, it's a little bit of a split the difference, I guess you could say. It seems like it's relatively balanced. Maybe a little over OP. It is also like a $26 million destroyed battleship. I'm only $26 million? I can't remember how much I paid for this thing. It's not that I'm hugely caring right now, because I... I Gave myself fifty billion dollars. <laughs> Total value of ships. Okay, twenty-three. I got two. So I think it will We'll see. It goes up from twenty-three twenty-eight. And this thing's built. If I can get out and help build it. Vanguard. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Battleship. Docking granted.
Discover a Vanguard. Docking granted. It's kind of cool how this ship is built. It's built in the shipyard like that. There was an earlier part where I saw a ship being built. So. I hope I don't have to rebalance the game because I add all these ships in. I'm supposed to like fix it. Otherwise the game is just going, I'm just gonna play in a horribly unbalanced game. I don't think it's gonna matter that much. Generally, things should be balanced. If you don't know, X works in this fun way where every every system has its own economy. So, or I mean, every faction has its own economy. And so the ships that are actually built are the ships this faction will pay for over the time that, you know, gets the money through taxation, more or less. Um, you're the only untaxed individual. It's funny. But, uh, it'll, um, you know what, I think there is some, some taxes, isn't there? I can't remember, but the essentially the faction will gain more and more money. It, like, s everything starts in the game when the game is brand new. Like, everything starts with, like, a certain number of things, a certain number of money, a certain number of factories, and then basically the economy has to, like figure itself out and then as the faction gains more and more money um you uh what is it yeah so basically as the faction gains more money then it like pumps out ships and so the more ships that are added is based on... And you can help improve the economy too, which is really fun. When you're actually like a big corporation and you can like sway entire economies. It's um... Because then, then you get more ships. That, like especially in Albion Prelude. Because Albion Prelude is like the best at this because there's just a war going on between the Terran and the Argon all the time. So, um, like, they're constantly pumping out ships. Docking granted. Docking aborted. Docking granted. Docking aborted.
Docking granted. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. So this is the one bug in the game where they're like, this part is... Well, that was awesome. This is why we test the mods. I'm glad we figured out this whole um, leaving in space thing. Although, you know, technically, I guess that does make sense because probably the shields shields are so good they just rely on the shields to keep air pressure. Uh, they probably don't do that because if the shields fail they'll die. Okay. Now, I seem to recall the bottom of the ship Is there a way, like, help me, the game broke? Or rather, help me, the mod broke. Okay, there is a way. <laughs> Can I help? Proceed with your good orders. I hired some people. I was like, give me a couple of people. There it is. Just give me the ship. Defend this ship myself with a gun. Oh, I need to undock. Docking granted. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Successfully docked. Welcome. Everything pretty much just copies. I want to say.
can't look around the ship. Oh, just wanna. Oh, there we go. Let's have to hit F2 again. We got spots for like three or six. Oh, God. Sometimes the buttons get stuck. Of course, I can use the keyboard, which is better. Huh. So, this is the ship. I'm kind of glad. Or, I should say, I'm kind of surprised with how. Please halt. We will be scanning your inventory. Me who's boss. Oh, I'm glad I figured this out. So, this is, I don't know, pretty good. So it works now. 